Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we are going to go over how to use the OpenPyXL package to insert images into a spreadsheet with LibreOffice Calc. The example shown will also work with Excel and Numbers, etc. For the imports, we have from OpenPyXL, import workbook. From OpenPyXL.drawing.image, import image. From OpenPyXL.utils, import get column letter. Import glob, import OS, from nat sort, import nat sorted. To insert a single image, first we create a workbook and grab the active worksheet. Then we provide a path to the image using image that we imported here. To add the image, we use worksheet.add image and put in the image along with the cell where the image will be placed. In this example, cell A1. Then we save the workbook with the image by using workbook.save with the path and the XLSX extension. And here we have inserted the image into our spreadsheet. To insert multiple images, we create a workbook and grab the active worksheet. Since the images are larger than the cells, we will resize the cells. To resize the cells, we will use a nested for loop to loop over the rows and columns. The code to change the cell height is worksheet.row dimensions. We put in the row from the for loop dot height and we assign the number, in this case 230. We use get column letter to get the column letter for each column. The code to change the cell width is worksheet.column dimensions. We put in the column letter dot width equals 40. And you can change that number to whatever you would like. Next, we will create a list of the paths to the images. First, we create an empty list to hold the paths, called images. Then we use a for loop with nat sorted and glob to get the paths for all the PNG images in our shapes folder and append the paths to the images list. Nat sorted will ensure the image file name stay sorted by number. To insert the images, we can utilize a for loop with enumerate to loop over the images list to give us the index and image path for each image. The code to add the images to our worksheet is worksheet.addImage. Then we use image from our imports and put in the image from our for loop. And then for the anchor, we use column A plus string index plus one. The anchor will provide the cell reference for each image. And we'll use column A and increment by one using the for loop index for each row. We use index plus one to start at row one because the index starts at zero. Here we use a print to view the indexes and the paths. To add the titles, the code is similar to the code used to add the images. A for loop is used with nat sorted and glob to get the path names, and we append the path names to the titles list. To get the title from the path name, we use os.path.base name. To insert the titles, we can utilize a for loop with enumerate with worksheet.cell and assign the titles to the appropriate rows and column. For the row, we assign the index from the for loop plus one. So it starts at row 1, because the index starts at 0. For the column, we assign 2 for column B, and the value will be the title. To save the workbook, we use workbook.save, and then we put in the path with the XLSX extension. And here we have inserted the images of our shapes with the titles. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.